Hey guys, my name is Sophia and I'm a student at the University of Minnesota. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the stages of meiosis. Um, but first let's talk about what meiosis is and why meiosis is so important in the first place. So meiosis is the cell division and it's cell division that results in the production of gametes such as egg or sperm cells. Gametes are haploid. In humans, this means that we have one set of chromosomes instead of two in our gametes. The production of gametes is incredibly important because it allows for the recombination of genotypes through sexual reproduction, increasing genetic variation. Genetic variation results in variable fitness, which can lead to better chances of survival and reproduction for the next generation of offspring. And all of that is made possible because of meiosis. Now that we have a better idea about meiosis on a larger scale, let's take a look at how this process actually occurs. So we're gonna start with a parent cell. Notice that this cell has two sets of each chromosome. A chromosome is a bundle of genetic material that codes for specific things in an organism. Homologous chromosomes are a pair of chromosomes, one from each set that code for the same things. These two are homologous chromosomes. They're about the same size and the same shape and contain genes that code for the same things. They are not, however, identical. They may contain different alleles for the specific genes that they code for. The next step that needs to happen before meiosis occurs is chromosome duplication. When a chromosome is duplicated, the resulting attached identical chromosomes are referred to as sister chromatids. It's really easy to mix up these terms, so let's make sure that you guys have this really solid. This is one chromosome. This is also considered one chromosome when the chromosome duplicates. These are homologous chromosomes. They code for the same things, but are not necessarily identical in genetic information. This is one chromatid. It results from chromosome duplication. These are sister chromatids. They are currently identical in genetic information. Okay, now we're ready for meiosis to begin. Meiosis happens in two stages, meiosis one and meiosis two. Meiosis one is where one diploid parent cell divides into two haploid cells. The first stage of meiosis one is prophase. In this stage, homologous chromosomes pair up to form tetrads. The formation of tetrads is also called synapsis. Something very important about tetrads is that they enable the homologous chromosomes to exchange segments of DNA, a process called crossing over. This process increases the genetic variation of the gametes. The next stage is metaphase one. Microtubules align the tetrads at the metaphase plate. I like to think that the tetrads meet in the middle at the metaphase plate for some alliteration. This just assures that each uh, daughter cell, each resulting daughter cell, gets um, one of each pair of homologous chromosomes. Anaphase one is the next stage. In this stage, the microtubules pull the homologous pairs apart to opposite ends of the cell. Notice that the sister chromatids stay together. Finally, telophase one. The cell actually divides in this stage. Now there are two cells that are haploid, each containing one set of chromosomes. Okay, everything we just talked about is considered meiosis one. Prophase, metaphase one, anaphase one, and telophase one. But we're still not done yet because each cell still has a pair of sister chromatids. Meiosis two is where the sister chromatids separate. In other words, two haploid cells divide into four haploid daughter cells. The first stage of meiosis two is metaphase two. Now the chromatids are what meet in the middle at the metaphase plate, instead of the tetrads like in, in metaphase one. Crossing over does not occur between sister chromatids in metaphase two. Anaphase two is when the microtubules separate the sister chromatids, moving them to the opposite poles of the cell. The next stage is telophase two. The cells split, resulting in four haploid daughter cells, each with one set of unduplicated chromosomes. Okay, now let's go over the entire thing. We start with the parent cell, that is two sets of chromosomes. The chromosomes are duplicated to form sister chromatids. Then meiosis one starts. Prophase is where homologous chromosomes form tetrads. Crossing over occurs. Metaphase one is where tetrads meet at the metaphase plate. Anaphase one is where homologous chromosomes separate.
telophase I is where the cell divides, producing two haploid cells. Meiosis II. Metaphase II is where sister chromatids meet at the metaphase plate. Crossing over does not occur. Anaphase II is where sister chromatids separate. Telophase II, the cells divide, producing four haploid cells. In summary, meiosis is a cellular process in which a diploid parent cell divides into four haploid daughter cells. One very important event in meiosis is crossing over, which occurs between prophase and metaphase I. Crossing over increases genetic variation. The haploid cells produced through meiosis are otherwise known as gametes. Gametes can combine during sexual reproduction, which also increases genetic diversity. Genetic diversity results in variable fitness, which enhances the chances of survival for the next generation of organisms. Okay, so that's it for the stages of meiosis. I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit, and hopefully I can do more in the future.